dito sa subdivision namin wala kasi talagang lumalabas ang maganda lang dito meron kaming park na pwedeng magpakawala ng mga dogs tingnan ko baka sakaling pwede instead of lakad dito sa kalsada sa park lang kami pupunta kamusta kayo mga karopa peeps check natin kung pwedeng tumakbo yung mga dogs sa park kasi ilang linggo na rin hindi sila nakakalabas and uh, since wala namang tao sa park Titignan ko natin kung po pwedeng mapatakbo natin kahit mga ilang minutes yung mga dogs. Tigil muna tayo sandali para safe lang. Now, marami nagtatanong about dun sa kefir water and kung paano gumawa. Kasi ang kefir water magagawa natin sa bahay. Pwede tayo makapag-ferment. Ngayon, humingi tayo ng help kay Admin Kirby and uh, ituro niya sa atin kung paano makapaggawa ng kefir. Later on, sabihin ko sa inyo kung paano kayo makakakuha ng free kefir. Admin Kirby, paano ba ginagawa yung kefir water? What's up mga Karapapips? I'm Admin Kirby from Rocky Dinkinas and I'm here to teach you how to ferment your own kefir water at home. Kefir water is the product of fermented kefir grapes. These are the kefir grains. They look like crystal grains and they are full of vitamins and probiotics. Probiotics are good bacteria that can help with our immune system and our digestive system as well. The benefits that we can get from kefir water will also be the same benefits that your dogs can get. This is very easy to ferment and pag na ferment na natin sila, they will continuously grow. Probiotics is very good for us and our dogs. You can also get probiotics from apple cider vinegar and yakul. Pero of course, it could be medyo pricey. So, I'm here to teach you how to make a fair water. The things you will be needing to ferment your own kefir water are of course your kefir grains, sugar, and water. When it comes to sugar, pwede tayong gumamit ng panutsa, mascovado, or kung wala na talaga, brown or white sugar. When it comes to water naman, it's important na dechlorinated ang water na gagamitin natin. Ibig sabihin, wala na chlorine content yung water, or in short, purified water. Combination of water and sugar is very important. Diyan din nakasalalay kung gano'n ka healthy yung magiging kefir grains. The healthier the kefir grains, the faster it will grow. It's important that the next materials na i-discuss ko sa inyo ay either plastic, wood, or glass. Please stay away from using metal, crystal, ceramics, or porcelain when it comes to the next materials. Yung mga materials na yun kasi will create a different chemical reaction that might not be healthy for ingestion mo and dumbbell mo. We are gonna use plastic measuring cups, nylon strainer, plastic spoon, a wooden stick, and glass jar. When it comes to measuring and mixing, okay lang na gumamit ng plastic. But when it comes to fermenting, yung container na gagamitin nyo for fermenting your grain, it's best to use glass kasi after a long time, plastic could also create a different chemical reaction that you do not want for you. Let's start making our kefir water. This is a finished product. Ibig sabihin, it's already combined water, sugar, and kefir grains. Ngayon, dadagdagan natin siya. I will first teach you how to measure properly. For measuring, I use my plastic tablespoon and my wooden stick. You can also use a plastic knife for this. But this is very much easier to find. First, you have to scoop the grains that you will use. After you scoop it, what you're gonna do is flatten this using your wooden stick. This is the most accurate way to measure your ingredients. You can also use this in measuring your sugar. Ang ratio ng ingredients natin is very simple. That's 1 is to 1 is to 1. Ibig sabihin, 1 tablespoon of sugar is to 1 tablespoon of kefir grains is to 1 cup of water. Here, I already prepared it. 5 cups of water, 5 tablespoons of kefir grains, and 5 tablespoons of sugar. What you will do is dissolve the sugar using the water inside the jar. Take your time in mixing this. Huwag niyong madaliin mga karapa grips. It's better to have it dissolved and maging accurate yung measurement. <laughs> when 
when the sugar is dissolved, pwede na natin ilagay yung cracker grains natin. After that, you can cover this with cloth and secure it with a rubber band. Or, you can also use the lid. Just make sure na one, it's not metal, and two, merong hole para nakapitin yung cracker grains natin. In this case, I will just use a BPA-free na plastic. When that's done, you can keep it in a cool dry place for 48 hours and your kefir water is ready to drink. Mga karapa pips, take note that the kefir grains grow and multiply. So, depende sa combination ng water and ng sugar nyo kung gaano kabilis and gaano kadami magmumultiply yung kefir grains nyo. So, if I fermented 10 tablespoons ngayon, next week, this could be 15, 20, even 30 tablespoons and it will continuously grow as long as you continuously ferment this. After 48 hours, this is ready for consumption already. Make sure that you use your nylon strainer at hindi metal para mas strain yung grains from the water. Then, pwede nyo nang ibigay sa dogs nyo yung kefir water that you fermented. Ganun lang kadali mag-ferment ng sarili nyong kefir water at home. And if you want to know more about how you can get your own kefir grains, here's Admin Memphis para ituro sa inyo how. Salamat, Admin Kirby. Napakaganda nung sinabi mong yan. May bago kaming natutunan pagdating sa kefir water and sa pag-ferment ng kefir water. Susubukan ng mga karopa pips yan. Mag-create pa tayo ng mga videos na parang ganito and anything na tungkol sa mga dogs. Subscribe kayo sa channel sa Memphis Tasho. Magbibigay tayo ng mga grains for free. Ipili tayo ng 15. Again, 15 na mga karopa pips na nag-subscribe sa channel. Ang gagawin nyo lang is, after nyo mag subscribe and mahit yung notification bell sendan nyo ako ng screenshot send nyo sa Memphis Tasho Karopa Pips pag na-reach natin yung 1,000 sisendan ko yung mga mapipili natin ng kefir grains para makagawa din kayo sa bahay nyo maganda tong kefir grains and makakatulong yan parang sabi ni Admin Kirby sa immune system natin and pagdating ng oras makakapamigay din kayo ng mga kefir sa mga friends and family members nyo hindi na natin papahabay hindi na ako magtutuloy magpaano sa mga dogs kasi baka makita ako ng mga barkada dito maingganyo pa silang luma bas eh. Mag-iisip na lang tayo ng ibang pwedeng laruin ng mga dog sa bahay. Stay safe mga karopa pips. Ingats po tayo. Kita-kit. Salamat Raw Feeding Pinas.